following contest, scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit, is your I Believe in Wrestling semi-main event. And this is the match there that a lot of people are most excited about today, as Seth Petrozelli, the current NXT striking coach, the former UFC star will be making his debut here tonight in our semi-main event. And he'll be taking on Braden Knight. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. It's one of the reasons I wanted to be here to, to see how Seth does. Yeah, and Seth Petrozelli, the man who knocked out Kimbo twice, I was there on press row for that first. fight. Killing from Orlando, Florida, weighing 215 pounds. He is a silverback! One of the most shocking upsets in the history of mixed martial arts. But he's now getting in to very deep waters, I think for a first match to have to face the veteran Braden Knight. You know, most guys in their first match would want a tomato can, right Larry? Well yeah, but, but for Seth, this really isn't his first match. The rules in pro wrestling, to me, are so much more dangerous than boxing or mixed martial arts. And we've spoken to Seth Petrozelli in the past. He does think this is going to be an easy transition, and I think he could be wrong. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, it may be easier for Seth, because again, he's involved with the Performance Center. So he's around you know, a lot more than someone else would be. So he should, he, he should catch on quick. And his opponent, hailing from it, Long Island, New York, better, you know, weighing 199 pounds, he is the athlete of professional wrestling, Braden Knight! Larry, who was your first match again? I'm, I'm trying to remember, the guy, I can't remember his name, he was from Canada. Well, it's been a long time ago, I mean, one of them was Flip Mahoney Dorso. I can't remember the, the Canadian guy, damn it. I'm sure he's long dead. Let's see what Seth is doing here, I wanted to see that. Seth, not only a former UFC fighter, not only the man that knocked out Kimbo Slice, he's fought in Japan, he's fought everywhere, but he is the owner of several MMA training centers here in Florida and has quite a following and I think people have really wanted to see for quite some time what would it be like if Seth Petrozelli got into a professional wrestling ring. We're going to find out right now. Well, so far his movement's great. He's got good movement. Both men making their way around the ring with this tie-up. And I think it's important if you're Braden Knight, right, Larry, to show early on that you're not scared of Petrozelli. Oh, yeah, you never want to show the guy you're afraid. Nice flying crucifix into a pin by Petrozelli. And Petrozelli, I mean, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, no, he's doing great. In terms of MMA, when was the last time Petrozelli had to try to pin anybody, right? So that's the biggest difference here for him, and he's doing a great job. Hey, he could, he could be a natural at this. I mean, he's doing real good mat technique. So when you're good on the mat, if you're good on the mat, you know, that's the important part. Petrozelli so far. As he's showing Braden Knight, hey man, it might be my first match, but I can do everything that you can do. Yeah, no, his movement's good. Keeping his balance, not leaving an opening. Yeah. Petrozelli calls himself the silverback. We hear the grunts in the crowd of his fans. One of your moves. Yeah, though. spinning back kick is... Uh, a good way to knock someone's win out of you. You never see it coming if you do it right. Oh, he walked right into that. Set started at first. He should have expected it. Oh. 
vicious kicks in the corner there from Petrozelli. Oh, chopped to the throat from Braden. And it looks like Seth is enjoying getting to do some of the things you wouldn't be able to do in MMA. Uh, in, in terms of yeah. using the ropes to his advantage, he's used to fighting in a cage. Yeah, plus choking the guy. Choked the guy for four seconds, took advantage of the rules. That was good. Yeah, that's I think it's fair to say that Seth isn't going to take any guff from anybody just by looking at him here. Kick out there from Braden Knight. Petrozelli right now kind of taking his time. <laughs> and I, I think for fans of, of pro wrestling and MMA, they sometimes don't realize so much of the strategy in wrestling is determined by that rope break. That when your opponent is near the ropes, it doesn't always make sense to be overly aggressive because you know if they're touching the ropes, you have to break. You don't have to worry about that in MMA, and that's one of the reasons why the pace of a wrestling match is so different. Yeah, yeah, you got a little different rule structure, and you got guys that are going to take advantage of it, like we talked about. European uppercut from Braden, kick to the stomach. Oh, spinning suplex from Braden Knight. Yeah, Braden Knight's spirits might be catching up. He pulled it. He tried to pull it over his shoulders. Brayden Knight, Larry, in the lead-up to this match, he felt like he was being overlooked. He's picked up so many victories here, and I believe in wrestling. And all anybody was talking about was Seth Petrozelli's debut. Nobody was talking about the opponent. Well, we'll see if he can do anything about it, but maybe not. Seth has great movement. Charges in right into an elbow. Got those little bow legs like I had. Perfect for hooking people. <laughs> Simultaneous knockdown punches here from Seth Petrozelli and Braden Knight. Hey, bro. They both had a good idea at the time. And if you're Braden Knight, there's a lot of extra pressure, I think, in a match like this because you're not just representing yourself, you're representing the whole sport. Seth Petrozelli has talked garbage about pro wrestling coming into this match, and Braden feels like he's defending the honor of pro wrestling. Oh, bad mouthing, huh? Big clothesline there from Petrozelli. Petrozelli saying he's coming to pro wrestling because he thinks the matches will be easy, and Braden trying to prove that's not the case. Muay Thai knees here from Petrozelli. That was a nasty little move sweeping from the front like that. If you bring it up higher, you could break the guy's kneecaps. Yeah, I really haven't seen the front sweep that much lately in, in pro wrestling. There, I've seen in your matches, you did like some unorthodox takedowns and sweeps. Did that come at all from the martial arts background? Or well, was a couple of it did. I mean, a couple of it did. Some of the takedowns. And and stuff, but the, 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 the hooker stuff, I mean, I want to get the guy on the mat and get behind him. So. Oh, Fisherman's Buster from Braden Knight could be it here. Only two. Larry, I don't know if Braden Knight wins tonight, if that would be considered an upset or not, because it is Seth's first match, but from MMA, he's a world-class fighter. So for Braden Knight, I mean, who do you consider the favorite here? Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean... Probably call kind of even Steven, because you know Seth may be new to this, but he's not new to the fight game. Hops right up well, there. And he's a nice super. Top rope. Yeah, and Seth is super athletic, has great movement, so. And he knows the hooks right there. He's got a nice arm. Oh, this ball. could be it. Braden in trouble here. This is what I like. I like to get the guy down. There you go. The wrestler always wins in the end.
What an impressive debut here from Seth Petrozelli in his first match to go toe to toe with one of the top competitors, and I believe in wrestling. And while we did have a lot of back and forth action, in the end it was a fairly decisive victory for Seth Petrozelli. No, I think Seth is going to fit right into the pro wrestling. Uh, you know, he's got he should. What I saw is, is very good movement, super athletic movement, in control of his balance, and he knows how to hook you when you're on the mat. And that's, uh, you know, one of the important things. Brayton had him down a bunch of times, but he just couldn't lock his shoulders down. They pulled the leg up, but they don't lock the hands together. And we see the physique and the muscularity of Seth, but not to such an extreme that it takes away from the speed because the speed was great. Seth, yeah, I, mean, I look at the muscles, tonight. I look at the speed. Well publicized coming into tonight's event, this was your professional wrestling debut. And to be honest, the matchmakers here in, I believe, in wrestling, sure sec didn't go easy on you. They hit you with a veteran great night. Hell of a contest. However, coming in here, there was questions about the difference between wrestling and mixed martial arts. And there were some people who claimed perhaps you were taking wrestling a little light on what the challenge would be like. So, got to open up with that, sir. How did it go? How did it feel? How did it compare to MMA? I'll tell you what, coming into these, yes, I did underestimate wrestling, its abilities, and how hard they train. Now facing Graydon, I know how hard they do train, and I've earned a lot more respect for those wrestlers and what they put their thumbs through, that's for sure. But, that being said, I have respect for them, but nobody in that back locker room or anybody else out there will I ever fear. I'll get in this room with anybody. Well called out, Seth. So I do want to ask you one thing. And, and our expert team on commentary on WBNLive.com, Mr. St. Laurent, Larry's in this a living legend, they covered this a little bit, but I gotta ask you, especially as somebody who's not as familiar with mixed martial arts myself, the mindset going into an MMA fight versus a professional wrestling match, can you talk a little bit about the difference between the two and perhaps how you had to change your training up for a matchup like this this evening? Uh, it's the same thing. I'm in the back pissing myself just like I would be for an MMA fight. It's nerve wracking. Come out here and perform for your family and friends. Everybody knows how hard you train and how much hard you put on the line to train for it. Same exact thing. There's no feeling, no different feeling coming into this ring than there is an MMA kid. It's not all. All right. Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Successful tonight in his professional wrestling debut. Congratulations once again, Seth Petruzzelli. Larry, I gotta be honest, in terms of the athleticism, the coordination, we shouldn't be shocked because of his background. But that might be the most impressive first match I've ever seen in pro wrestling. Yeah, no, it was very impressive. I mean, uh, very good movement, and, and he was a good, what we used to call a mat technician, a hooker. So if he gets you on the, you know, on the ground, you're in trouble, and that's what happened. And uh, I think he's gonna do well.